And I was like, yeah, I want the gravy. Why else would I be a KFC? Yeah, you can't, can't get KFC without gravy. It doesn't make any sense. It's tangy. Very peppery. Still, yeah, it is. It's got a lot of pepper in it. You know what I think? Here's my theory about KFC gravy. They do put pepper in it, but the pepper is microscopic to ensure even distribution. And then they just add flakes of, like, black carbon, basically, to make they it look... scrape the pans a little bit and just kind of sprinkle it over the gravy. Even, I feel like that would be, like, a food safety issue. But I'm sure they have, like, an FDA, like, flavorless carbon patent. And then they're just like, <laughs> yeah, put the carbon flakes in the gravy and stir it. And then people There's go, oh, look, you can see the pepper in the gravy. I don't buy it for a fucking second. Intros are a waste of time, but welcome back to Rocket League. Oh, are we, are we live? <laughs> What's going on here? I should disclose, KFC sent me a uh, $50 gift suit now. You ever cover uh, KFC gravy with arugula? Or probably vice versa, I guess. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? In what? Is this a thing, or you just wanted to say arugula? I think he's just like saying stuff. words. I mostly just wanted to say the word arugula. 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 Do you think that's how they named arugula? No, nah, it's actually like an old Latin word that means pretty good green leaf. <laughs> it's not even that good. Did you know that there is a green leafy vegetable called rocket? No. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's good. Where'd you hear about this? I've had it several times. What kind of culture is it associated with? What does that even mean? Are you like, you're asking them questions as though you're in like a spelling bee. What, what, oh, I want to know more about Rocket. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes, can I have the uh, cranberry chevre salad? Uh, <laughs> does that come with Rocket? Oh, yes, beautiful. Yo, if you have Somebody to ask said if that to me, rocket, I would not know how to even reply to that. Well, then how'd you get a job at this swanky pizza? <laughs> I have no idea. That is oh, a bistro salad right over both there. Of them. That's not a restaurant salad. That was amazing. Good set. Arugula is gross. Arugula is it's just a green leafy vegetable. What it's like that start? it's like that really thin crispy one, isn't it? It's like it's thin, yeah, but no, arugula is good, man. It just it's like one step away from iceberg lettuce. Iceberg is lettuce is the superior greenery, yeah. Dude, I actually really like iceberg lettuce, and I'm glad that somebody is not afraid to say that iceberg lettuce is delicious. Because so many people are like, iceberg lettuce, that's a that's a lettuce of a child. Yo, iceberg lettuce is good. I still eat kids' meals, doesn't mean I'm a... I'm, well, okay, it makes me a kid, but I still like them. Hello, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. Kids' meals are tasty, man. There's nothing wrong with enjoying a kid's meal. There's nothing wrong with enjoying the finer things of childlike wonder. Kate and I were at McDonald's the other day. She was thinking about ordering a Happy Meal because she wasn't that hungry. And I actually asked a question, and then a second later, I'm like, I'm an idiot. It's like, mm -hmm. is that legal? <laughs> is it legal? Legal? Like well, here's the what way I was... What if they catch th us? I'm, I'm coming from, like, this amiibo world, right? Where I'm like, well, wouldn't adults just take all the toys from the kids then? Yeah, of course. Oh, nice yeah. shot. Fantastic. Wait, why did that go in? No, good shot, Nick. You shot that. I'll be ready for three. Okay. Let's see where that happened. Oh, he just did a backward bicycle kick into his own goal. All right. Just to prove he could. Well, they are playing against up. a team with two veterans. <laughs> Still want to know what culture Rocket is from. Rocket is its just a... Wow. That's thats questionable defense. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know how to answer your question. What culture? It's not like, a, it's not like bok choy. It's not like... Well, if you look at every greenery, there's some kind of grouping where it sort of falls into a genre of other leafiness that happens in certain geographies. Okay, Rocket is West Coast. R Rocket is a 1% green. If you're okay, I can, I can understand that. If you're at a restaurant that's serving Rocket, it's like, they were like, well, we we're going to replace Iceberg Lettuce with Rocket because, come yeah. on, like Jerry it's, Bruckheimer's going to be here. It's more about socioeconomic strata than it is any kind of geog uh, geography in general. I'll be with you, man. Like, if you were gonna, if you gave me a choice between romaine, rocket, and arugula, I would be like, I don't care. <laughs> at all. <laughs> I've never ordered a, a salad. Oh, Alright. I would say which is the really bitter one, because there's always one, and I would avoid that one. That might be, uh, that might be arugula. Arugula is, example. yeah, arugula is extraordinarily bitter. And it's like, it's got the consistency of a napkin. Oh, that you... sounds awful. I will not stand for this. 
You can't defend arugula. As part of the arugula growers. <laughs> arugula! <laughs> arugula! Arugula! Join the arugulers today. I'm the world's greatest Rocket League player. That was pretty great. Wait, that even touched you? I like that all of Quick Chat is Harry saying wow, and I kind of <laughs> hope it stays that way forever. Oh, actually, you hit it. Well, well I, I did a backflip in front of it, and you hit me trying to hit the ball. Okay. You used it's me like the, the, the sledge of the hammer. I don't know if that's... Is that, that, I, I don't know if that's... Yeah. I'm not gonna stand here. Wait, what is it? The, a hammer to make sledges? What's the definition of sledgehammer be sullied? <laughs> You're gonna defend a ruler. If a sledgehammer <laughs> makes sledges, I never want to see another ball peen hammer as long as I live. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that was amazing. That, was that angle, good. you had like a five degree window there to yeah. slot that in. Wow. I still only want Harry to say anything. <laughs> He's the only PS4 player. Wow. Watching the entire replay. Go, Harry. You stick to your laurels, man. Harry's a cool dude. That's a good now. shot. You gotta have somebody like. Sorry, Nick. Oh. Oh, it's all good. Sorry, Nick. Oh. I'm really liking uh, trying to like find out how to change direction. Or like trying to find the ca oh. the hard cap on where you can still flip. <laughs> While you're flying around, mm -hmm, I see. So I'm, I'm trying to like blame the ping. Hashtag blame the ping. Maximize my efficiency. Harry, you've done nothing wrong. I'm not blaming the ping for anything. You're a you're a goddamn angel. <laughs> <laughs> Smash it! Oh, that was Harry with that breakaway. Well done, Who's Harry. Who's blaming the ping this time? Probably still Harry. There's a goal. Oh lord, just lined it up perfectly. <laughs> Look at all the all the badges you got there. Look at all the numbers, man. Oh, ridiculous. That is beautiful. Ah, this is like remember when every game of Rocket League was like this the day it came God, out. God, I know, yeah. I'm getting a little <laughs> bit of a nostalgia flashback here. Feels so oh, good. Those are the days. Is this Maybe we're actually good. I don't know no. if I'd go that far. Don't get into that headspace again. Yeah, that was that was a bad place to be. There is a lot of cognitive dissonance there. If we're good, why do we lose all the time? <laughs> there we go. Wow, this guy, That's Harry. Just, oh, oh, I thought that was going in. All of a sudden, Harry is taking it too far. Oh, now I don't like it. Harry, we're a goddamn angel, and you squandered it with your bigotry. Unbelievable, Harry. If you. I you know what? I hope that you watch this video and you realize that, you know, humanity can be inherently nice. We were so into you. Harry, you were a cool dude and you blew it and I'm not even mad. I'm just disappointed in you, honestly. You were like our prime example of the decency of the world, Harry. And you you are the... That's the that's a big moment when you realize that you're the reason the world sucks. Okay? <laughs> the ripple effect is just nausea-inducing. They call it the Harry effect now, actually. Now, now it's called the Harry effect, yeah. Because now, what do we have to use as a counterpoint for perspective? They have just, I've just gotten a tweet from Wendy's, who also, they sent me a $50 gift certificate yesterday. Um, that's a joke. But, uh, <laughs> it turns out that the Baconator has been renamed the Harry Sandwich. Mmm. Tasty. Which is, that's a terrible a, name. Sounds like it's full of hair. <laughs> it's... Yeah. It's one of the least appetizing names for a sandwich, I would have to imagine. <laughs> I can't think of one that would be worse. I mean, I can, but I don't want to say it. Or them, because there are... I can think of many. All of a sudden, a hairy sandwich doesn't sound too bad. Oh, good shot. Ooh. A little high, though. That's it. Just gotten word that uh, Touchstone Pictures is renamed Tower Heist Tower Harry. <laughs> Why? Because they think both anyone named Harry. Because they're both the worst examples of anything in their respective <laughs> oh categories. No, that's not true. <laughs> you can't say that and be honest. I'm sorry, Nick. I was, oh, you're good right. dribbles! Oh my God! Freaking martyr tower heist every chance you get. That's because you're trying to champion it every chance you get. It's underrepresented. It needs a champion. It doesn't need to be martyr though. I don't think it needs a champion. Wow. Oh, there we go. I just, <laughs> I just like forklift launched both of you guys there. Oh, big miss. Ben's going through a relationship breakup right now. Is that a Ben Stiller? 
Yeah, of course I'm talking about don't, Ben don't Stiller. call Ben Stiller Ben. I thought Ben was the name of a character in the film. No. I'm just worried about it. I want to make sure people know his movies oh, pretty good. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Ah. Oh, damn. That was just like... That was... A forward pass very rarely happens. And that was just it perfectly you right nailed there. Nailed it, yeah. Yeah? Hey, Tomo. How's it going, buddy? Just you licking getting, your paws? You're getting some familial interruptions today. Yeah, man. That's life in the fast lane. Oh. So you guys hear a new update from <laughs> the go. Academy of Motion Pictures? Oh, I'm ready for this. They're actually I'm renaming the uh, the award ceremony. Oh, okay. It's no longer the Oscars, it's the Harry's. It's no longer the Oscars, it's called the uh, Wish You Could Have Been a Harry's. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Stretch that one out a little bit. Uh, uh, I don't even understand it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for it, but I don't get it. Oh, no! Ah. Wish you could have been at Harry's, actually. It might even be more appropriate. What was that yeah, show, no, Harry and the Hendersons? It's a good movie. Any Is that a parallels show? in there? Is it a show or a movie? That's a movie. Isn't that about the alien that ate things? Yeah, I think so. A lot of alien-based eating shows in the 80s. Yeah. Alf. Oh, the, the Alf is probably what I'm thinking of, actually. He hated cats for some reason. I never understood. Oh, he hate sure did. Cats. Just ate cats. You got the... You put one more letter in there. You didn't need to have. And is it a coincidence that the mistaken letter is an H? I'm just saying, like... He's already on shaky ground being, like, a puppet. And then you go <laughs> and eat cats? Who are you trying to appeal to? Yeah, it's like, come on, dude. We're already letting this, like, supernatural creature stay inside of our house. And then you're gonna <laughs> eat our pet? We what give is you happening? Food. Do you hear this? Mm mm. This guy's singing. Nick, you gotta. Oh, I, I muted the hell out of that. <laughs> the yeah. First step of recording Rocket League for YouTube is. <laughs> I think like, he said I gave birth to you. Yeah, you definitely gotta make voice chat disabled. You gotta juggle know, for that. That's pretty good to me. You, you have no idea the shit that Harry could have said. Oh yeah, Harry's a dangerous player, man. I mean, I didn't say it, so what's the problem? Yeah, if you want to deal with the the comments from the stuff that comes out of Harry's mouth, that's uh that's your prerogative, I guess. You could literally turn it off in the options menu in about a quarter of a second. That's okay. faster than I can operate any UI. Quarter of a second? That's one of the major selling points to Rocket League. Yeah, you can just you can do everything with voice controls. Xbox disable voice over IP. Rocket League, turn off Xbox Harry, off. please. <laughs> yeah, affirmative. That was a turn really great, on like... Harry. <laughs> Harry, and then turn on. on. Don't turn on Harry. Initiate Harry foreplay. No. no. God. Not Harry foreplay. Ordering ten Mick Harrys. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon Harry. That's even better. DVD. Me, myself, Me? and Harry. Now available for Bacon rent. Harry. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy! I missed it. Should wow! For a goal. Okay, good. Well done. Just another day cleaning up your mistakes. <laughs> well, I missed that shot. Missed that shot. Great follow-up, though. Thank you. Yeah, really. Yes, I appreciate it. We I've been practicing. Yeah, take a dump on these console plebeians, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's a PC Harry race. <laughs> I don't want to call it that. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's interesting positioning. If I go like that, all right. I need to ask you guys because you're um, you're from America. Don't take offense to this until you hear the question. Okay. Then you can probably take offense to it. Oh, we're good. <laughs> all right. Um, the only real like, fr well, not real, but the only fried chicken restaurant I have a lot of um, context for, I have familiarity with, is KFC very popular chain obviously mm -hmm. uh, Popeyes uh, and Maddox there you go you got two more okay but they're they don't really have those too too frequently in Canada okay but there is a churches not too far away has anyone ever eaten a church's fried chicken negative negative heard of it you've never heard of it no I said I've only heard of it I've oh, never I've, okay there. well that is I'm way less incredulous about that 
Okay, okay. What's the uh, what's the significance of churches? Well, it's close by, and well, I. That's a I bad it. sentence for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you ever want to go to churches? <laughs> Churches is disgusting and wrong. It's it's not that far away, and I like fried chicken is my reasoning. And That's it's open 24 enough. hours, which, like, not that that... I don't want to go to, like, a fried chicken place at 3 in the morning. That scares the shit out of me. But at, like, 11... You ever been to a burrito joint after 10? Uh, Does Taco Bell count? Taco Bell, I think you have to go after 10. <laughs> I don't think they're yeah, open until 9.30. I've, uh... I, I've been to a burrito joint after after the bars close. Yeah. Well, that uh, actually that sounds a lot more reasonable now. I, and it's very common. I think there is this place in my my college town, and on like non Fridays and Saturdays, they're like we're open eleven to two. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> like we got like a three hour lunch window. <laughs> then on uh, on Fridays and Saturdays, it was like we're open whenever. Oh. Come yeah. by, Are you gonna dude. tell us why I should be offended as an American? Cause I wanted to. Oh, I want. Yeah, I want to know why I need to be offended. Well, actually. I was like, these guys are gonna know fried chicken. Cause no, I really don't eat that much fried chicken. <laughs> well, that's why you should be offended. Cause I, I assume. Oh, oh okay. I get it now. Yeah, I am offended now. Well, I'm aware of our country and their insatiable need to eat chicken. So. I've had, I've had the. Chicken. I'm aware of the monsters that inhabit this land, <laughs> feasting upon the chickens of the young. The carcasses of uh, <laughs> fallen fowl. Making their bones clean in the midnight sun. The midnight sun of the chicken den. <laughs> it's like a solar eclipse of chicken death. <laughs> midnight sun would be a great name for a brunch place. Like I don't I don't that know. That would be far be. too dramatic for a brunch place. It's gotta be a absolutely metal not. Band, though. Yo, are you, dude? Give me a red eye and a fucking chicken and waffles, and and uh, fucking destroy my soul with music. Yeah, and then feast upon the blood of the martyr. <laughs> you know, like I think it'd be pretty sweet. Uh, it's too intense, man. When I'm brunching, I want to be relaxed. What's your brunch order? Uh, I definitely gotta go with bacon and eggs. Gotta start off with that. Oh, oh my god. god. I think French toast is in there for sure. Yeah. That's fair. I'm Represent. not a French toast guy, but I respect it. Yo, you're not a breakfast guy? I'm a breakfast guy, I'm not a French toast guy. Oh, I see, okay. I, I do, I like a classic, um, I'm not gonna try to deny that I do. You know, like a two eggs any style sausage and or bacon, maybe two extra for pea meal bacon. Sure. Uh, you know, toast of your kind and some kind of potato based breakfast. I like that you uh, abbreviated that to save two <laughs> letters. <laughs> Pardon me? Did you say pea meal or pre meal? Pea meal. You said pea meal, pea meal to bacon. save yourself the trouble of saying pre meal. Dude, I'm not ordering pre meal bacon. What? I've got some problems in my life, but I'm not at that <laughs> place yet that I'm ordering a <laughs> plate of bacon as an appetizer. Uh, you've lost me then. I, I don't know what's pea going on with this order. Bacon anymore. is its own type of bacon. It's a Canadian uh, bacon. Oh, product. okay. I didn't know that. Dude, I am. Now that you mentioned it, I'm so glad no one has ever misheard that. <laughs> like when I ordered it. Yeah, can I uh, I'll have some pea meal bacon with that? And then they come out with like 12 strips of <laughs> regular bacon before my dish arrives. Oh, That's what man, you asked for. I would just eat it, probably. But. Oh, absolutely. But I, and I wouldn't even have to feel guilty about it because I'd be like, well, I didn't order it. <laughs> no, no problem. Would you, um, you like so. to register a breakfast into this conversation? Please do. Uh, Eggs Benedict is delicious. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a brunch classic right there. Even diners can make it. How about dive-ins? Dive yeah, maybe a dive-in. It's like diners, a swimming pool. Dive-ins? Diners, dive-ins, and dives. <laughs> you get like a see... hamburger as you fall through the air. Yo, if it was like 1998 and diners, dive-ins, and dives was on the air, you know that there would be like tie-in VHSs. There would be like best of drive-ins, <laughs> best of dives, best of diners. <laughs> I would love to see best of dives. Like if they did that show, honestly, Guy Fieri showed up at like a, a bar run by a motorcycle gang or something like that and was like, I'll have a peach margarita and they just like snapped him. <laughs> that show would be Oh man, that nice. Be, that show would be entertaining and also like a huge insurance liability. Oh absolutely. I like the idea of a dive in now though. Mm. Like an underwater brunch place. It's <laughs> Yeah, it's fucked up, man. <laughs> I mean, how about you, like, you park your car in the parking lot, and then, like, 100 feet below you is a swimming pool with a bar next to it. Oh, absolutely. And as you fall, they take your order, and by the time you hit the pool and come up, 
It's ready for you on the side. Fall. You need like four bartenders to take the order as you as you descend you through know, the madness. Like, if you fall for like a kilometer, that's like ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is. I, I, so I'm uncomfortable that you know how road. to measure that. It's just it's uh it's obvious, isn't it? If they need more time, just make the dive lower. Yeah, I mean that's. What's the problem? It's an easy if they, solution. If they have to have lot higher. By the time you hit the ground, you know, you know, if you order a perfectly poured pint of Guinness, it takes 90 seconds. So you'd have to fall from, like, <laughs> literally an airplane. <laughs> they have to drop you out of an airplane on the way with the wind, you know, lapping at your face. Oh, <laughs> Guinness! Yep. Then the companion app would be very difficult to uh, speak into because Siri wouldn't be able to understand the voice recognition. Parachutes in your area. <laughs> Harry shoots in your area. <laughs> Those are the ones that always fail. Yeah, but they're they're really cheap. <laughs> it's, the, it's the backpack that's supposed to have the parachute, but instead it just has like a bunch of silverware and utensils in it. <laughs> Why is that always a thing? They Whoever pull, put those in there? They pull the ripcord and it's just like forks. Yeah, yeah. it's like forks and spoons and knives fly out and a napkin maybe. What is the point of that? That was some good uh, Rocket League action. You want to stop it here? I think so. All right. We right. mostly did pretty well. I think so. Lettuce. You are you are the lettuce. sultry lettuce that holds this team together. Arugula League. Sultry <laughs> lettuce. As part of the Arugula League, uh, I, th I don't think our interests are being accurately represented here. Thanks for watching Arugula League. Thanks, everybody. See you this next is the backup Joel signing out. Arugula.